Ferdinand E. Warren, a commercial artist, used this technique to win the goodwill of a petulant, scolding buyer of art. It is important in making drawings for advertising and publishing purposes to be precise and very exact, Mr. Warren said as he told the story. Some art editors demand that their commissions be executed immediately, and in these cases, some slight error is liable to occur. I knew one art director in particular who was always delighted to find fault with some little thing. I have often left his office in disgust, not because of the criticism, but because of his method of attack. Recently, I delivered a rush job to this editor, and he phoned me to call at his office immediately. He said something was wrong. When I arrived, I found just what I had anticipated and dreaded. He was hostile, gloating over his chance to criticize. He demanded with heat why I had done so-and-so. My opportunity had come to apply the self-criticism I had been studying about. So I said, Mr. So-and-so, if what you say is true, I am at fault, and there is absolutely no excuse for my blunder. I have been doing drawings for you long enough to know better. I am ashamed of myself. Immediately, he started to defend me. Yes, you're right, but after all, this isn't a serious mistake. It is only... I interrupted him. Any mistake, I said, may be costly, and they are all irritating. He started to break in, but I wouldn't let him. I was having a grand time. For the first time in my life, I was criticizing myself, and I loved it.